We have a really interesting guest today, and my guest is, is Hiromi Toma. Many things that were very Ryukyuan, mm -hmm. we lost it. And one of the things was the tattoo. And that's why this uh, tattoo was disappeared because of the prohibition by the Japanese government. So yeah, it was a practice that was banned. That's why I'm trying to revive in this. What, do you have some examples of some of your work that you've been doing for, for people? Okay, cool. These are the 103. Yeah, I don't have here <laughs> yeah. all the 103. Fair, 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 fair. <laughs> this, this long line um, and then the dot, what, what does this symbolize? Uh, the, this on the finger is yeah. like a Yanosach. Yanosach? And it's uh, an arrow. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah, it's, it's like an arrow. Okay. It, it's, to, it's a connection with the ancestors. I saw it on the on some of the, the children's hands or the maybe the teenagers. I'm not sure. Yeah, but yeah, the teenagers. But the teenagers put on the the pinky, pinky, pinky okay. finger. So I guess where what finger it goes on is also a symbol. If it's if it, there is a meaning for each finger, mm -hmm. um, I don't know yet. But I think uh, at that time each each finger symbolizes each phase of life. Okay. Because I notice here that's on the index, and here it's on the ring finger. Oh yeah, this because they uh, she decided to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, fair, 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 fair. <laughs> to have yeah. them on these fingers. On these fingers, <laughs> living art, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. That's super interesting. How about the dots? What do the dots mean? And they're in, there's uh, sometimes people have it here. Sometimes there's a dot uh, up here. I, I guess this is. Yeah, mine for example is uh, Marubushi, and the meaning is round star yes. or moon. Can we, yeah. Show that. So that is it's Maruboshi. Maruboshi, which means yeah. round star or moon. Round star or, or can be a moon. Okay, very and, cool. But, uh, um, in ancient times, they, they don't make like this uh, with gradient feel. Right. That's... Uh, but I decided. Why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looks very, uh, a... very three dimensional. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> three dimensional. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, cool. I think there is one more here. Oh. Oh, this is my mom. Oh, here, move the camera again. Let's see, mom. <laughs> yeah, this is my mom. Oh, she was the first person I tattooed. Yeah. Oh wow, that's super cool. <laughs> what did she think about this? You said she was also unaware of the Hajichi sort of um, history. Uh, or its existence? Did she know that she, that it, you said she's a very big Okinawan fan? But my yeah, understanding, she, she, she didn't know. Fan. <laughs> but but after I I tattoo her, mm -hmm. um, I think I, I don't remember if, if it was one week later or two weeks later. Mm -hmm. She she reminded that my grandma's cousin who yeah. came from Argentina. Uh, she had a hajichi, but uh, and we were thinking how interesting it is the memory, uh, how the memory works because at that time when my my grandma's cousin came, um, people didn't say about the tattoo and they didn't express that it was a hajichi. So I think that's why my mommy um, just remember after some time you know mm -hmm. it was a, it, it was like a hidden memory oh that's so interesting and yeah when when i when i always say this story i say another story that it's from my friend i tattoo her and mm -hmm. before i i uh, before our session she she spoke to her grandma about it and she said um she asked her if someone on on their family had a tattoo and her grandma said tattoo oh in our family no 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 one had a tattoo no tattoo no 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 and then now ah, okay she, she had a hajich and then she showed to her later after the session and when uh, the grandma saw the 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 hajich yeah she said oh yeah hajich my grandma my my mom used uh, had a one not a tattoo. She had a hajichi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I think, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think in her mind, uh, 
these designs, these symbols on hands were, were related to hajit, the word hajit, you know? Right. And uh, in Portuguese, tatuagem, when, when my friend said to her, uh, was something uh, about the designs uh, she saw in Brazil, hmm. which is bigger and there is another, yeah, other meanings and other, I, I don't know if I, well, because there's, there's quite an expat community, right? Like uh, in Brazil, after World War II, especially, or I think so, there was a, a, a migration of many Japanese to Brazil, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. so you have this whole community of, of expats that have developed uh, almost a, a, I don't know what else, uh, maybe compare it to quebec for france or something but with a longer time frame there i guess but it's 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 interesting to see that because you get to see some traditions that were perhaps protected in brazil but not in japan like do you see many people with hajichi in okinawa now like have you i imagine you've you mostly live in brazil right yeah and i imagine you've gone and done some research in okinawa or i've never been there you've never been I've okay never been okay yeah yeah. Go, go. yeah well you know you just <laughs> started day, you just so started <laughs> your quest really right 2022 that's not that long so yeah but if you go to okinawa it'll be really interesting yeah to but see. Uh, uh today there is a hot chat there <laughs> yeah uh her name is moeko heshiki Okay. And he, she was born in, in Okinawa. She grew up in Tokyo, and then she she got back to Okinawa because of Hajichi. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah. so she found out about Hajichi while living in Japan, and then reconnecting with her Ryukyuan roots. Yeah. And yeah. and wanting to go and explore that a bit. That's and so she's fascinating. She's doing Hajichi there, and I think. It, her work is amazing because of this, mm -hmm. because we in diaspora is easier to connect with our Okinawa roots and, and Hajit in itself. Because in Brazil, for example, and I think in USA and Canada, also we are more open to tattoo practice. Right, of course. So it's easier for me yeah. to to revive Hajichi in diaspora. Right. Most people's moms in Japan are not going to agree. Yeah. To. <laughs> so I think for her, she's doing a difficult, a more uh, difficult work. Well, it causes, like my, uh, my wife's uh, uh, cousin is a, uh, well, she's Japanese. And then his, he is a, a reggae artist. So uh, he does ja Jamaican reggae. Oh, okay. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. But Japanese version of it, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has a lot of tattoos. And he's very counterculture in Japan. Mm -hmm. And I think just seeing him, you know, he's, he's doing well mm. with his music career, but it, there's a lot of limitations oh, just because yeah, yeah. of the tattoos, like yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah, limitations. Yeah. And the way people look at you mm -hmm. in Japan is very different from here. And I don't know if uh, people watching would even, if they haven't been in Japan or don't know this part about the culture, but there is definitely a, we talked about it earlier, but mm -hmm. definitely stigma around yeah, yeah. Uh, the tattoo. So yeah, very challenging for somebody who is Japanese to go on and research and, and be a part of this revival. So that's mm -hmm. pretty cool. You know, it actually reminds me, while you were speaking, it, I had a connection to my, my industry, where in the uh, uh, tea in general, for example, during the, the Cultural Revolution in China, mm -hmm. was mostly banned. Like, it was considered a luxury good. Mm -hmm. um, so there was a whole movement to just stop growing tea and stop making it. And there was, like, a, a loss of a lot of tea culture that had continued mm -hmm. for hundreds, thousands of years. Mm -hmm. And it makes me wonder how many times this has happened. And then after there was um, some changes in policy and there was a desire to grow tea um, that was allowed by the government, um, things did change. But to try and find that history, even 20 years later, was so hard. And here I can only imagine like the challenges of, of you know, like on the west coast of Canada, there was the the colonization and the destruction of culture mm -hmm. was slower than Eastern Canada. Eastern mm -hmm. Canada was, was earlier. And so you see a lot more destruction there, um, a lot more interaction between European powers and, um, and the indigenous people. Mm -hmm. um, there's a really strong group called the Six Nations. But um, people that are trying to find that again, uh, they have oral histories, they have grandparents, but there's just such a huge population loss 
I guess what am I trying to say here is that to try and revive this, uh, uh, an art that was mostly sort of lost in the late 1800s um, is a very challenging, challenging yeah. quest. How, how do you, how, so you have this book, you're talking to elders. How do you go about this project? How do you go about this revival? What is your, what is your path? What is my path? <laughs> yeah. How do you, how do you revive? Like what, what, what's the, yeah. What's the, like, oh, you're going to speak to some, you're, you're, you're obviously finding some, some resources. What, oh, oh how, how, how I do my research. Yeah. yeah like how, how are you doing your research and what do you hope to do moving forward? Um, yeah. So two uh, questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, uh, it's difficult to find information about Hajichi mm -hmm. because when it was banned, uh, it's not, only the practice that it was been um, not only the practice that was been but also talk about it right and as I said as our we have a oral history um, we don't have now a had chaff from that time to to teach us the all, all those things that cannot be written right and so yeah, we lost many things because of this, and and that's why it's so difficult to find information because there is also um, many information written by non Ryukyuan people. Right. People. Yeah. So um, there are many Japanese researchers, for example, who went to Ryukyu uh, at at the the year of 1980, 1990, and they were making research about um, the Cuban people mm. to understand their culture. But there is this, um, I think that, that there was this this kind of, uh, can I say, it's not fear, it's like, um, I think I think the Cuban people at that time, they, they were a bit, um, af afraid to, to tell so many information and specifically about Hajiji because it was something criminalized right. and there are many testimonials that uh, some people have her, had her Hajiji after the prohibition right. they, they had this um, they, they tried to make this hidden mm. um so I think it's difficult to 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 make this bridge before the prohibition, before, after the prohibition, and after all this violence, how you can send researchers to right. make people speak about it? Right. If it was something criminalized, if it was something taken from us, for uh, so. So yeah, I think it's, yeah. It, it's a difficult research because of this, because there are many, many materials not made by Ukrainian people. And it's also difficult because there are um, some researchers, no Ukrainian, mm -hmm. who try to put their suppositions right. over what the, what the community is, is actually thinking. So through trying to sort of take a anthropological approach and try and build up sort of like a history of Japan approach, they're kind of disempowering these yeah, people yeah. Um, yeah. because it's not inclusive. It's more of a, this is what I want. Can yeah, you give me the answers. How I see. Yeah. Whereas I think what you're imagining and hoping for might be something more inclusive. Yeah. Yeah. Where there's like a, so that might be a really interesting way to go about your research eh, is to try and find. I guess similar thinkers. You said there's this woman in Japan. Um, uh, I have you contacted her as well. The woman. Yeah, she she's she's Ryukyuan and yeah. she's in, in Okinawa. She's okay. not in. Yeah. She was in Tokyo, but she, she went was, back to Ryukyu. She Ryukyuan. was in Tokyo, but she's she's now back in, in Okinawa, mm -hmm. and she's reviving there. Mm -hmm. And how, how is she going about that revival and her research? And is this something that you can? Is this a research style you can borrow from? Yeah, she yeah, she had more uh, access to to books there in Okinawa. Okay. That there are more information about Hajichi. and I invited her to be part of 
uh, Hadjicha Collective. So I created a uh, Hadjicha Collective to to put all the Hadjichas in the world who who is doing the same work as I am doing in. Uh, Hajicha is the, the practitioner and Hajichi is yeah, the yeah, art? Yeah, okay. sorry, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hajicha is the tattooist. Because yeah, Chami is tea as well, right? So. <laughs> the, the tattoo, yeah. Okay. And um, yeah, I decided to put all of us together mm. because at the beginning of this reviving, mm -hmm. there were many people saying it's it's um, saying and, and like judging mm. if you, we were doing a good work or not. <laughs> and I think it's it's very um, it's a very difficult work because of this because it's, it's something collective. Mm -hmm. So I I understand that it's something that uh, community will 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 say about it will will judge. Mm -hmm. But I think because of the internet and because the hajichi is more on the internet. Yeah. The language on the internet is more violent. So yeah. so yeah. the way. The judgment happens. I think it, it was something that w was putting us in a loneliness place. Right. So that's why I, I created the collective, and then we could um, speak to each other, and we know how how the practice is in in a practical practical thing. It is it, when you are, when you are doing a um, when you are doing a practice you can realize some things that other people who are not doing the practice can realize. So right. that's why I think it was important to put in all of us together to share things, share fears, share... It's a great move, um, yeah. <laughs> all, all of these feelings. Yeah, and, 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 and I invited her and all the other Hajjahs, mm -hmm. and she's sharing so many knowledge with us. Wow. And, yeah, it's it's uh, so that's a really movement. great learning uh, uh, research method is to gather all the researchers together, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and talk and discuss and talk and, and learn together and learn together and yeah. get out of a an isolated place where you can have some yeah. some sometimes really bad pushback, yeah, um, which doesn't I mean for me. I don't understand that part of the internet at all. I don't understand that part of humanity. It's really, I think, horrible. And I wish that the, everybody could just be supportive and awesome all the time. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm glad that you found and made a, a safe place to to research this. And what is, uh, we're, I, I have a um, um, kind of like a last question, I guess, is, is if people want to uh, follow Actually, it's two last questions. Again, it was actually a repeat of the other one is moving forward. Is it going to be developing this community that you're starting to build? Is that the path forward for, for and also maybe doing more um, uh, hajichi? Did I say it right? Hoji, hajichi? Hajichi. Ha, hajichi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hajichi. Um, so you'll be doing more hajichi if you can, and you're going to be developing this community of learners together. Is that kind of how you see your, your My path? My path? Yeah. Um, and how do people follow you if yeah, they want to learn think, more about you? <laughs> yeah, I think it, um, it's, it's difficult to say about my path because I've, I'm feeling that b before I started tattooing, I, I was working in, in different areas. Okay. So I, I have two BAs, one in accounting okay. <laughs> and another in fashion design. Oh, wow. And okay. I work it in um, these two, two areas. Uh -huh. inside companies and all of the things and i i think on, on tattoo practice and on ancestral tattoo practice i'm feeling a different way to to move on on, on i i i can't i cannot see the future of my right. career you know right, right, right. I'm just yeah, yeah. feeling the <laughs> so it's like a learning phase or like it's just like kind of like absorbing and sharing and it's more like organic. Yeah, and, it's, it's it's more and organic. It, and so, it's just kind of figuring it out as you Yeah. As as you're inspired and, and which probably is the from the sounds of it, it's a very spiritual practice. Yeah. So this is probably the mm -hmm. most authentic way that you yeah. could go about this process is to just let the process guide you. Yeah. Right, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm more like this because uh, the last year 
Yeah. I didn't know I would be here. <laughs> there you go. Amazing. And so, now here you are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Having tea, talking about this art. Okay. So I'm just, yeah, waving. That's cool. Okay. That's a, that's, that's, so if people want to uh, look at your work or anything, is there any way that they can get, if somebody has, who's watching is interested in Hajichi, how do they, how do they connect with the community? How do they connect with you? I have a website, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, www.hiromitoma.com. Hiromitoma.com. Okay, and we'll put that in the description as well oh, for the video. Yeah, Hiromitoma.com. All right. And, and I have a, 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 an Instagram page, which is Hiromi.hajicha. Okay, Hajicha. <laughs> H A. It's A J I C H I A A. Oh, okay. Cha. C H I A A. C H I. Okay, cool. All right, then. Uh, so we'll, we'll also mention that in the in the description as well. Oh, okay, so, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for making the time to come in. Is there any final things you wanted to say before we before we end this session? No, thank you. Yeah, we're good. Okay, yeah, yeah. we had uh, it was a great discussion. I learned so much, and this is this is a huge area of interest for me. Is 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 a revival of traditional art forms. Um, I think it's such an important part. I think there's so much that's getting lost. Mm -hmm. um, it feels sometimes like it's an uphill battle. There's just an onslaught of, of, of just forcing everybody to be the same. Mm. And I think mm. that to, to be able to connect with uh, um, something ancient like this and to, to, to revive it and make it something very real, uh, there's something really special about that. So really happy for your project. And I, I hope that it's a, it, it does what it needs to do for you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah, you so much. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. All right. Okay. Thanks so much. I'm gonna. So I'm gonna hang, stop the the show now. Um, but it was uh, really fun to have um, uh, Hiromi on the show. And again, you can go check her out at hiromitoma.com. Yeah. www.hiromitoma.com, and you can learn more about her project. Thank you so much.